This is problem number 34 of the Stewart Calculus 8th edition, section 2.3. Part A. Use a graph of f of x equals the square root of 3 plus x minus the square root of 3 over x to estimate the value of the limit as x approaches 0 of this function to do it two decimal places. If we plot this function, it has this form and we see that it approaches very close to 0 0.29. So this limit in part A, we will approximate for it to be 0 0.29. Part B, use the table of values of f to estimate the limit to four decimal places. Well, we use the table to plot this function very close to zero. And we see that the closer that we got to zero from the left and the right, the closer we approximated the function value to be 0.2887 to four decimal places. And the, that is our new improved estimate. Part C, use the limit laws to find the exact value of the limit. So we will rewrite this as a limit on the next page. Limit is x to zero of square root of three plus x minus three over x. minus the square root of three. And we will take the next step of rationalizing the numerator uh, by multiplying by the square root of three plus x plus the square root of three to the top and the bottom. Which gets us three plus x minus three in the numerator divided by x times the quantity square root of the quantity three plus x plus the square root of three. We see here that the three minus three it cancels out to zero and then we're left with the one x in the top which can cancel with the one x in the denominator leaving us with the limit as x approaches zero of uh, one over the square root of the quantity three plus x plus the square root of three. And if we evaluate this at x equals zero, this should give us an exact value of one over the square root of three plus the square root of three or one over two times the square root of three. And this is our exact solution. And this product or this quotient is equal to approximately uh, 0 0.2887, which is consistent uh, with our estimates from part A and B.